Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Y'all, I wanted to show y'all something before I start my day. I hope y'all been having a wonderful, fat, fabulous week. Um, I've been extremely busy this week. I've had a few people come over company. And again, as y'all know, I don't put cameras in my friend's face uh, when they swing by here. You got to know how to separate. And I've learned how to separate. And I've told some people in the comments, you know, I do YouTube, not my friends. And a lot of people don't like to be on social media because they're attached to families. They're attached to their husbands. It's, it's no big whoop, but you know, everybody uh, is not all excited about uh, showing where they go and what you do. And a lot of times, you know, I like to communicate and talk and just catch up. So it, it's just not sometimes, it's just not even, it don't even go together sometimes to throw a camera up um, just so I can show my viewers that I have friends. I mean, I'm 53 years old, I'm middle-aged, so the friends I do have are very minimal and they're close. And uh, I'm not a teenager anymore, so it's not important to me that I show you every nook and cranny of my life. There's a lot. Y'all won't believe this, but there's a whole lot that I don't show or talk about <laughs> in my life. Um, the most y'all will probably see me rolling with is my mama. But anyway, for those who understand, understand. But um, anyway, I was thinking about doing something this year um, uh, that will encompass um, maybe a girl's night out or, you know, whatever. I, there's some things I'm thinking about uh, this year, but whatever. If, if it happens, it happens. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all something real quick. Um, a friend of mine was telling me about this, speaking of friends, about this rejuvenating foot cream. Because during the winter time, my feet get extremely dry. My skin stays dry anyway. That's why I have to drink a lot of water and I try to stay hydrated. But my feet, they just get, man, when I tell you, yeah, like walking through flour. But I promise you, y'all, uh, I got this off of Amazon, um, and I got, um, she said to put this on just your feet up to your ankles, front and back, and of course put socks on, because that's what I do most of the time anyway. I put, that I might use Vaseline or that body glaze stuff that I got, but this, this, y'all, yeah, it has. My feet have not been ashy, jack. They have not since I've been using this. I normally take showers in the evening, and sometimes some mornings I'll get up and take showers. But I'm an evening shower type person, um, and it just depends on how I slept during the night. If I sweated, and I very rarely sweat anyway, but I'll get up. And take a shower if I know I've got something I need to do throughout the day, but or, or you know, away from here. But anyway, so um, I've been using this for probably going on two weeks now, and y'all, I'm telling you, it's the business. It has like a eucalyptus mint smell, it's just a white cream, as y'all can see. And it, you only need maybe a dime size amount, and just rub it into your feet real good and put socks on. I'm telling y'all, it this is the stuff. I think it was like 16 or 17 bucks. I'll remember to put it in the description link. <laughs> I know sometimes I forget to do that, y'all, and I do apologize, but I'll make sure, just in case any of you men or women have issues with dry feet or just, you know, your, your skin is just so dry all the time. And it, it's made my feet very supple and soft. So I'm all about foot care now, honey. Not that I was in bad shape. It's just that, you know, my feet are just dry. But yes, honey, I'll be like, okay, can I do, can I be a foot model? 
Papa. And then with the rest that's on my hands from rubbing my feet, I just rub it into my hands. I got hands like my mama. We got rough looking hands, you know, because we be doing stuff. But yeah. But anyway, I did want to just share that with you. Um, stay tuned. I will be doing a video uh, of all the gifts that you all sent me for Christmas. So I thank you already for that. I so appreciate you all taking the time out to do that. Um, so I, you, it, it does not go unnoticed. And I try my, excuse me, I try my best when I do get gifts from you all and cards that I, you know, do a video and share those gifts that you all have given me and my family. And so we appreciate that. We really do. But, uh, Anyway, I was just, you know, as I was getting ready this morning, matter of fact, I need to put some of my Clinique. I'm almost out of this. I need to go back and get some more. This is that Clinique um, Moisture uh, Surge. So, yeah. It's a really good. I like the way it feels on your face. It, it just, you know, it, it just make everything. It, it's like a coolness, right? And I just get get my cheek areas and my forehead area. Because your girl, like I said, your girl's getting them little lines, honey. But that's okay. I think I'm aging gracefully, you know. It is what it is. I'm aging gracefully. And I'm going to tell you, I broke out from wearing that mask. The, you know, I had to wear masks for almost a week or two weeks. Broke out th th that mask. But uh, anyway, while I was preparing myself for work this morning, I need to get some more of this. This is that Rihanna lip gloss. I love it. Um, you know, I, I got to thinking about my life and, you know, and how God has just been faithful and how God has just really been good to me. Oh my God. And you know what? My life truly is a living testimony for me. My life is a living testimony for me, really and truly for me. Um, and I am strengthened and I'm encouraged about how the Lord continues to, to walk with me and be with me to endure through some things. I mean, I really am just thankful concerning my health and how he makes me get up in the morning and he starts me on my way. I, I, I just tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, God, that you give me the spirit to not ever want to give up. Just keep pressing, Tanya, keep pressing. And I just wanted to come on here this morning and just encourage you because I don't know what it is, whatever that is, is financial, home life, health, work in, in your community oh by the way i got something to, i got a uh, community function to go to the to tonight i'll probably come on and do outfit of the day or outfit of the night but uh anyway anyway i i tell the lord thank you because i know that we all at some point in our life We'll sit and we'll police someone else's process. We'll police some. We'll we'll sit around and police other people's uh, life instead of really truly policing our own life. In other words, examining our own life. And so, I want to encourage you. I really do. I want to encourage you because. It helps me to stay encouraged, to stay motivated. Because there are some days it's like, Lord, really? <laughs> but because I recognize this is something that I know I have to do. Get up, exercise. 
get that cardio in for your for, for my health, for my heart, and then any other things that are going on with me, um, with work. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna it's gonna be a busy 2024. I have a lot of sales meetings that I have to attend. That's going to I won't be you know I'll be on the road and you know for for three and four days. So I've got a lot of business trips for work that I'm going to be having to attend this year. So that part of my life is just going to be busy. But I tell the Lord, thank you for even that opportunity, you know, to be able to to rub shoulders and learn and, 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 and just continue to move on up. Amen. Amen. So so I just tell the Lord, thank you that he is continuously speaking to me and giving me bread from heaven to walk so I can get to that abundant life that he wants me to so have. That my latter years will be greater than my former. Every day, I want to step into his mercy and his grace. Every day, I want to step into his blessings that he gives. Every day, I thank God for the things that I've prayed for, and now they are among me. They've manifested, and I see. And you know what? I, and I said, God, I thank you that I just want to live my life where I am at peace. I got some joy, and I'm just happy. Again, I know every day ain't going to be peaches and cream. But you know what? When I, when I get up every morning and live my life, I'm going to live with the optimism of today is a good day. Because the word tells me this is the day that the Lord has made. So I'm going to what? Rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, sure, things are going to come my way. But I'm going to on purpose make sure that I make decisions. That I surround myself with choices that are going to work out together for my good. I'm not going to be a backbiter. I'm not going to be a person that's going to look for the glass half empty all the time. I'm looking for that glass to be half full. I mean, I'm, I'm so, so again, I just want to encourage you on today. I really do. I want to encourage you on today. Cause like I said, I'm middle-aged, I'm 53. So there's a lot of things in my life. I'm leaving out of, out of certain seasons and I'm entering into new seasons. And sometimes entering into new seasons, you have to, hey, behold, all that old stuff is passed away. And, hey, I'm being renewed. I'm walking into different seasons in my life. So those things that other people want to keep you in, baby, I'm a butterfly. I got to continue to transform. Amen? Because it's got to all work out together for my good. So my life, I'm encouraged by others, yes, but I'm also encouraged by the manifestations that God has made happen in my life. So I become that living testimony and witness for myself that God can, God will, and God is. He is the great I am. He is the same as he was in the past, as he is currently now and in the future he's the same god so i just want y'all to be encouraged on today i really do i want y'all to be encouraged and know that all things are possible through god he strengthens us every day so that we know it is possible so again you know, again, there's a song that Dorinda Clark she uh, Clark Cole sings. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and she talks about when I look back over my life and I see all the things 
God's done for me. I've been through dangers, heartaches, and troubles. But I thank the Lord. He's kept me here. I could have been dead and gone. But I'm still here. It's by the grace, the grace of God. So God, I thank you that I'm still here for however long it is to be. God, I thank you that you watch over me. I thank you, Father God, that you continue to encourage me, that you will work out all these things for my good and he will do the same for you amen so again y'all be encouraged we're back at the weekend y'all and so we're going to do what we do amen so again be encouraged work it out walk it out know that god will never leave nor forsake you and just know this that before you were formed in the belly of your mother God knew you. Amen. Isn't that exciting? See, that's the shout. God knew you. He foreknew you. He justified you. And he called you forth for you to be here. And it is by his grace that we are still here. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. I love you. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. All right, y'all.